Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great little headline for you here. We've got this gradient headline. Great thing to have on your website. It's going to get people's attention. And we're using a free plugin for this today. We're using the Divi Supreme Modules Lite, absolutely free. And I'll put this link below the video. And there's about 20 modules you can choose from. This is a great little feature. Let's get started. I'll show you how to build it. So I'm going to enable the visual build. And let's get go down and I'll actually delete this whole section. We'll start from scratch. OK, well, let's go to our dashboard. Once you've downloaded and installed Divi Supreme Lite, just follow the download links at the bottom of the page. You'll find Divi Supreme on the right hand side there. And as well as the modules, we've got three little extensions as well. We'll be going over some of these in future videos. So make sure you've got this installed before you start. And we'll go ahead and make this feature. I'm going to add a new section, little blue button for a section. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside, I'm going to put a row with a single column. Now, Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules. When you install the Divi Supreme Lite, here are the 20 new modules that you get here. And there's a few more Divi ones there. Divi will also give you an extra dozen of these light gray modules if you have WooCommerce installed, and it'll help you display your products. So I'm looking for the gradient text today. There it is right there. I'm simply going to click, and it's popped it in there. And as you can see, it's got a bit of a gradient going on. I don't know if you can tell there. Let's just save this. I want to put this section up at the top, a bit like a headline. So I'm going to drag this and pop it up the top of the page. OK, well, before we do anything, I'm going to set my background. I want this to stand out well, so I'm going to have it very contrasted. So I'm going to make a dark background and a gradient type text. I'm also going to use a gradient on the background. So I'm going to go into the section again, the blue tab that we just put up here. I'm going to go to background. I'm going to go over to gradient, the second one there. We've got color, gradient, image, video, background patterns, or background masks. And they've just improved their gradient, so you can put as many colors in as you want. So I'm going to get have mine pretty dark. I'm going to have black both at the top and at the bottom here. And in the middle, I'm going to put a white one. Click on the little dot. I can make that white in the middle. OK, I don't want it quite as radiant as that, the white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my black ones in a little bit. So it's more central sort of thing. Obviously, it's entirely up to you how you want to do yours. OK, so I'm going to leave mine something like that. We can always adjust it later. And you can put more colors in if you want to. For instance, you could just click and add a new color at the top if you wanted to. And we'll click again, put one at the bottom. And it's just a single click to put your color in. OK, well, I'm going to leave that background gradient like that. Like I say, we can always adjust that in a little while. Let's go back into our gradient text here and make it into a nice large headline. I'm going to go in there, I'm going to hit the cog. There's our text. What do you want it to say? Obviously, whatever it is you want it to say there. If you want to link it to somewhere, put your link in here. And any time they click on that headline, it'll take them here. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. OK, before we go down to background, well, I'll go down to background. And by default, they put in that sort of blue green gradient. But I want my heading to be a lot bigger than that. And I want it to be in the middle. So I'm going to skip over to the design tab. I'm going to go down to my title text. I'm going to pop it in the middle. There we go. I'm going to make it uppercase. And I'm going to choose a different font. Divi as standard comes with a crazy amount of fonts. It really has got a huge amount. I know the font that I want. But if you want to audition one of these, just roll over it. And it'll give you an example of what that font is. I know I want one called Anton for this. So I'm going to simply put it in the search there. There it is. It's kind of blocky. It'll work for my headline. Great. 
That's okay, but I want it an awful lot bigger than that. So let's drag it up to say, if it doesn't go as high as you want, I'm gonna, let's, let's put 100 picks in there, see what happens. That's going to work for me. Like I said, I'm not too happy with that gradient, but I'll uh, fix that in a little while. That's not too bad. 100 picks. Can we go to 120? Well, yeah, I could even go to 120. But of course, this is going to break up on um, mobile and tablet. So what we want to do, and this is common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing here, you'll see some little icons appear. Go to the thing that you want to affect. If there's a little mobile phone type icon there, there is in this case, click on it. And we can set one value for desktop. For tablet, we can set a different value. I don't want those lines breaking up on my tablet. So let's take it down to try 80. That works on the tablet. And again, I'm just putting in the 80. It'll put in the pics for you. And let's go to mobile or phone. That, I'm not, that, I don't have a problem with that breaking up on the phone, the the words being in three different lines there, that's fine. So let's flip back to our desktop and we're good to go. So let's go back now and create the gradient that we actually want with our writing there. So I'm going to go to content, background again. Remember we're still in the gradient text settings here. Move to the gradient. Let's make this a little more interesting. We'll have a dark blue on the top and let's see we'll have a purple on the bottom a bit like we've got with our gradient in the background I've done it a little differently and I want to put maybe a white one in the middle or somewhere around the middle 50% click on it let's make it white and again let's pull these in so the colors stand out a bit more We've got that little nice line in the middle there. Like I say, this is entirely up to you. Okay, I'm sort of fairly happy with the colors that are going on there. We can always tweak it again or add more colors. And you can go down at the moment we're using a linear, you can use radial or circular if you want the colors in a different position. Elliptical. You can get some amazing effects with this. But I'm just going to go for my straight linear today. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. Let's go back into our background and tweak our little background here so it works a bit better for us. Because our headline's not really standing out too well there. So back into the section, into the background, into the gradient. Okay, well, that white section's a little too broad there, so I'm going to take this in quite a bit so it's coming down. And this white, I'm going to make it not quite as white. There we go, something like that. And obviously this is entirely up to you how you structure it. And let's add a bit of a background pattern. They've just added these background patterns. Just click on the field. Yeah, I think I used this one before. I'll make it white. But I'm going to take the opacity down in color. Just click on the color itself over here. And we've got this variegated slider. I'm going to take it down so it fades in the background a little bit there. I'm going to save my changes and I think we're good to go. So once you're happy, you can save the page changes, save draft or publish if you're ready. And we'll exit the Visual Builder. And there it is. There's a sort of hero headline with a gradient text. That's a nice little feature to have on your site. Let's just check it on tablet and mobile. I'm gonna hit the F12 here. I'm using Google Chrome to bring up my Chrome inspector. There it is on an iPad Air. Let's make it a little bit bigger for you. That works on the iPad Air fine. Let's have a look on our mobile phone. I've got an iPhone 12 Pro. And we've let it break there, which is fine. And that's a nice little hero section to have on your, your website. And as you can see, totally responsive. So there you go, guys. There's a free gradient text module. Fantastic for making, as you can see, headlines and things like this, and all kind of other applications. And we were using the great Divi Supreme Lite for this today. And I'll put the link below the video. 
I hope you've enjoyed this today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.